What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Rico the Waver, and I'm back again with another banger, man. In today's video, I'm just gonna be spitting some knowledge to y'all and letting y'all know some information that I see that you guys are lacking in. So, this is a big, big common question in the wave game for my coarse hair wavers. So, if you're not a coarse hair waver, still watch the video, you might learn something. But this right here is for my coarse hair wavers only. So, I got a DM. I got a DM. I got a comment on my on my last video. I get it all the time, and I see this question asked a lot. So I saw. I thought maybe I should just come to YouTube and make a video dedicated to it. So, uh, my guy, Lil JC, came to me on YouTube yesterday asked me he said hey rico how come when i brush my hair my waves start to go away now this is a common coarse hair waver thing you might think it's a problem but it's not a problem it's not a problem with your waves see and it's not a problem with you brushing it's it's none of that when you're a coarse hair waver and you're woofing and or you know you have a lot of hair on your head your hair tends to lift up and when your hair tends to lift up it may mm -hmm. seem as though your hair is not as defined anymore or your waves may disappear when in the case it's not what it is see is your hair lifting up and it's going into a form of an afro because waves are laid down curls so when you're brushing um, you're lifting your hair up and it's starting to look like as if your hair is your waves are disappearing when they're not Because all you need to do is have a hard brush a hard brush is gonna get down to that scalp And that's the main focus when you're woofing is getting down to your scalp You need to get down to the root so we won't just brush the top and glaze the top all day Because all that's gonna get cut off the point of a woof is to brush the hair at the bottom you want to get to the root of your hair you know as much as possible so if your brush is not hard enough you need to get a harder brush if you're getting deeper into the wolf and you feel like you're not brushing the root of your hair and you just glazing the top trust you'll know the difference you're going to feel that brush on your head or you're going to feel it on the top of your head it's going to be a big difference especially when you're woofing you're going to feel that difference so make sure you get a hard enough brush that's going to get down to the scalp now your hair is not disappearing. I, once again, your waves are not disappearing. What's happening is your hair is lifting up. It's getting more poofy because your hair is coarse, but the waves are still there. Still brush the same way. Still brush your connections. You know, you're still gonna see them. They're not gonna be as defined, but you're still gonna see your waves there. The waves are still gonna be there. So. You want to keep brushing the same way keep brushing you know um, down to the scalp and keep brushing on that same pattern and same connections you know just like when you comb your hair it's going to lift up into a fro and your waves are going to seem to disappear they're still there if you look in the mirror and you do a straight comb don't comb back if you do a straight comb through like you're brushing your hair do a straight comb through your waves are going to still be there except for it's going to be more poofed up now but your waves are still going to be at the top if you look in the mirror. So, with that being said, you know, you just really want to get down to the scalp. It's all about getting down to the scalp when you're woofing. It's, that's what it's all about. You want to brush the new growth. You want to brush the new hair. It's like when you're growing your hair out. If I dyed my tips on my hair, or I dyed, you know, the tips of my dreads, or I dyed my whole head of dreads, or dyed my whole hair, eventually you know you're gonna see new growth it's gonna start turning back black or the original color of your hair brown or blonde or you know what i mean burgundy whatever well, i don't know about anybody with no burgundy original hair but oh uh, well there are some people but like i said that new growth is gonna show so since your hair is black if your hair is black you know um your new growth is literally you can't see it but we know that there's new growth because your fro keeps growing. Your hair keeps growing. Every time you comb it out, your fro is getting a lot more thicker. It's getting a lot more full. The 
the waves are starting to you know get more deep the more you brush and it's all about being consistent you got to keep brushing you got to keep brushing you can't really miss no days you got to really keep brushing bro that's the main really focus on it like you, you got to brush your waves are not gone they're not disappearing the reasoning for them are lift they're lifting up your curls are lifting up they're coming up because your hair is getting more thicker and you're brushing it and it's, and you know it's it's raising up so if you go watch my last video, I taught you how to pretty much lay down your wolf. You know what I mean? So that's how you pretty much lay down your wolf. And at an early stage, at an early stage, you know, I'll be teaching you guys how to lay down your wolf when you're deeper in. I was only, a, I'm only a month in. That's how you lay down your wolf when you're only a month in. So, um, you know, with that being said, y'all can go with me on this wolf journey. I've only been wolfing for a month now. I just started the wolf. Some people like to start their wolf after the first two, three weeks. I just started my wolf four week, I'm four weeks in or whatever. You, however you want to do it, you can start it four week, after four weeks or however. Either, either way it go, I ain't had a cut in a month, let's just say. But to answer y'all question, your waves are not gone. Your waves are still there. If I comb my waves out right now, straight forward, not out, but if I can't comb my hair with the grain, my waves are gonna lift up or if I brush my hair right now my waves are gonna lift up and you know not be as defined as they were when I first unracked because my hair is no longer laid it's starting to lift up meaning that tar brush is gonna come in handy when it's laying down those laid down curls which is why you need to brush and get to the scalp because you want to brush the new growth you want to brush, brush the new hairs that's growing in because the new hairs that's growing in are not trained to lay down to have waves the new hairs that's growing in are not like, you know, they're not gonna be wavy. They're not growing in wavy, they're growing in straight up because your hair is growing out. You know what I mean? So you're training it by forcing it to go down. Look, I need all this, I need all this hair that's this tall to go down like this and wave up. So that's the key to it right there. That's all it is. Your waves are not going, they haven't disappeared, they're not falling off your head. That's not possible, you know? The only way that your waves can possibly ever leave or anything of that sort is lack of brushing. Lack of brushing, you're gonna gain force. Lack of brushing, you're gonna start to, you know, eventually over curl because you have your rag on so much, you're not taking it off and brushing your hair consistently to treat it. You're not giving it that treatment. Your hair is just as important as brushing your teeth. Your hair is just as important as getting dressed and getting flying. If you're really dedicated to this wave game, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, man. You gotta get them brush sessions in, bro. I don't care if it's 30 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you can afford to get in your day, whatever you have time to get in on your day is what you need to get in, bro. So, like I said, that that is what it is. You know, it, it's nothing really to do it, but you know, with that being said, I wanna start something new, y'all. So for all of y'all that's watching, you made it this far in the video, I'm going to be starting something called OTW Rates. So once again, that's OTW Rates. That stands for only the waivers rates. So if I had, a, I also had a supporter come in my um, DM, you know, a couple of times, some different supporters coming in my DM and messages and stuff like that asking me that I should rate my supporters, I should rate my subscribers. So, we're gonna do something like this. It's called OTW rates, only the waiver rates, okay? So, we're gonna be doing one every Sunday. Every Sunday, we're gonna do a OTW rate, okay? So if you want to be featured in this Sunday's coming up OTW rates, today is today is Thursday. The video is going up today. So if you want to be featured in this Sunday's rates, make sure do not tag me in my D, do not send it to me in the DM. Do not none of that. Don't send it to me in the DM. Hashtag OTW rates. None of that, bro, because it's not gonna get seen. What you need to do is post a picture 
of your waves on your Instagram. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Rico the Waver. No spaces. Rico the Waver. No spaces. To be future in sun this Sunday's OTW rates. It's what it's all about waves. So what you need to do to be featured in this Sunday's rates is post a nice picture of your waves and hashtag OTW rates because I'm gonna be going through the hashtag in order to rate your waves. Okay? And don't have no hard feelings. I am going to rate with my honest opinion according to the elite scale. So there's this picture out um, that Sir Cruz posted and it basically speaks on a scale of what your waves, you know, how many forks and less forks you should have. So I'm gonna go off the scale, you know, from the top of my mind on how many, you know, the less forks or the more forks you have, you know, the higher or lower the rate be. So, you know, this is just gonna be my personal opinion you know, and it's using that scale that he, he showed me, you know, that I seen just off the top of my head. So once again, if you want to be featured this Sunday, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Rico the Waver. Must be following me. You gotta be following me. And tag OTW rates after you post your wave picture. Post your wave picture on Instagram. Do not send it to me in a DM. It will not be featured. You will not be in the next video. So if you want to be featured in the next video, the next Rico the Waver video, make sure that you go over and hashtag OTW rates to be posted this Sunday. Okay? So make, I don't care when you guys do it, today is Thursday. You have until Sunday to post it. So if it's Sunday and it's past, I say 12 o'clock, then you are gonna not be able to make it because by the time it, I'm already gonna be recording the video so if you post it anytime before 12 then you could be future Sunday but you guys have from Thursday literally till Sunday to be featured in this and if nobody posts anything or catch on you know I can always you know push it back to the next Sunday but you have to make sure you post it man with that being said it's Rico the Waver don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you follow me on Instagram at Rico the Waver I'm out Turn on post notification if you haven't already.